Oh, for more perspective on this, I'm joined live uh, from Manchester in the UK by Lowe's K. He's the head of the UK Pirate Party. Thank you very much for joining us here on RT. So if you were in Edward Snowden's shoes right now, what would your next move be? Well, it's clear that um, the United States raised the stakes hugely by uh, filing espionage charges against Edward Snowden. Um, so we saw with, uh, with even though that the Hong Kong said that they were willing to comply with the rule of law and that they also, crucially, they wouldn't extradite him on what well, politically motivated uh, charges, it was always clear that they were not able to offer him actually the protection that he needs against the might of the United United States and that's the key thing right now he needs actually proper assurances Hong Kong had already come under huge diplomatic pressure there was talk of damaging of relations of if even uh, the questions as to whether Hong Kong was complying with uh, with the rule of law for, as the United States put it but what's clear is that he needs to go somewhere can, that can offer real assurances and real protection for whistleblowers and for what um, for essentially for the uh, work that he's been doing to expose mass surveillance and the mass surveillance program that the United States and indeed us here in the United Kingdom are now subjecting our citizens to. Uh, do you think Snowden can continue to stay uh, one step ahead of the game so to speak? Well, it's it's clear that it has had it's been vital for him to stay one step ahead of the game, but the thing is, there's been a lot of speculation over the last few days as his as to his final destination. For example, Iceland has been named as a possible destination for him, but as Pirate Party MP Birgitta Jonsdottir has pointed out, that even Iceland doesn't have a kind of spotless record in terms of the treating uh, treating of asylum seekers, so it's. Actually, uh, so it's vital that he actually seeks out uh, somewhere which is able to give proper assurances. What we can be sure of is that um, the United States will continue to tar him with the brush of being a traitor, whatever his final destination is. But we have to remember that that is a distraction. What we need to focus on is actually the core of this story, which is his re the revelations about mass surveillance. Uh, do you think there, there could be a happy ending in store for Snowden? Uh, do you think uh, he could make it to a country with no extradition treaty and just stay there indefinitely outside of the reach of uh, the U.S., for example? Well, the real truth is that right now there is no good option for Edward Snowden. Uh, for example, I might not necessarily be the, the greatest fan of Venezuela, but the question is, where can he go? I think that's why it's, it's vital that um, if, if MPs in European countries, for example, start complaining about his final destination, well, then we need to step up and offer assurances. That's why in the Pirate Party move it, movement, we are pressing for the the EU to commit to actual real uh, protection and asylum for whistleblowers. Remember, this is about whistleblowing. It's not espionage. It's about actually revealing um, a, um, a mass surveillance which is potentially illegal and is certainly has been happening behind closed doors without proper democratic debate, without proper democratic oversight. We're told all the time that if we've got nothing to hide, we've got nothing to fear. But that has now been blown out of the water by Edward Snowden's revelations. Um, the fact is that the more that's collected about us, the more we have to fear. And uh, finally, to wrap up briefly, if you could, uh, Julian Assange has uh, worried that the internet is turning into a, quote, military occupied space. Uh, what do you think could be done to reverse that trend? Well, actually, we all need to step up as citizens now, is to say we need to put pressure on our governments. We've seen this across the board, whether it's the ch chasing of file sharers or whether, or whether it's mass surveillance and whether it's web filtering, web blocking. There is essentially a siege on the Internet right now. And we need to actually, uh, we need to say as citizens to stand up and say we will not, we will not stand for it. There's a lot of, been a lot of talk about it's time to upgrade um, uh, surveillance capabilities. Well, now what needs upgrading is our rights as global citizens. All right, Lowe's K from the UK Pirate Party. Thanks for your time.